You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South. Welcome back to Black Tree on TV. I'm your girl Alex Hudgens here at your number one source for urban entertainment. Now today we're taking a look at 2013, which many consider the best year for black film ever. Black Tree on TV was there every step of the way. Now, Fruitvale Station, directed by first-time director Ryan Coogler, wowed audiences at the Sundance Film Festival, where it made its debut in February. The movie, starring Michael B. Jordan and Academy Award winner Octavia Spencer, won the festival's Grand Jury Prize and the Audience Award for U.S. Dramatic Film. In May, Fruitvale Station won the award for Best First Film at the Cannes Film Festival. The movie would later open nationwide during the height of the Trayvon Martin trial, eerily drawing similar comparisons. Shots fired at Fruitvale. We're just trying to get home. What is going on? Next stop, Fruitvale Station. We're gonna go to Frisco, right? See the fireworks? Yeah. We're gonna say bye? Bye. Love you too. Around. What about this story? I mean, cause there's so many stories of police brutality that happened and everything else. What made you take Oscar Grant's story as opposed to Diallo or anybody else that say, this is the Sean movie? Bell, Sean. Yeah, I, I mean, for, for, for me, to, to be honest, you know, making making movies are hard, man. Like I, I learned that when I made shorts, you know, and, and making this feature was the hardest thing I ever done. And one thing I kind of told myself, you know, early on, I first realized I wanted to make movies is that I, I, I want to make movies about things that, you know, I care about deeply, that affect me deeply on a personal level, you know, and and, and I care, you know, I, you know I, I, I love God, I love my family, you know what I mean, and, and, and my loved ones, and I love where I'm from, you know, I love the Bay Area so much, and um, to when that happened, you know, there in the Bay, to somebody who who, who, was, who was my age, looked like me, you know what I mean, had friends that looked like my friends. Um, it affected me like like you wouldn't believe, man. So so, that, so that's why that's why Oscar's story was 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 was, was, was the one that I wanted to tell. Um, and, and 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 you know I think that I think that most filmmakers do that. You know like like um, uh, you know you see you see a lot of filmmakers make stories about things that are passionate to them, make stories about places that that they're from. You know. Fruitvale Station was such a heartbreaking movie. We wish that the Academy hadn't totally snubbed it. Now, in March, Academy Award winner Halle Berry made a triumphant and successful return. Her movie, The Call, in which she played a 911 call center operator, was a smash hit, earning 68 million worldwide, proving that the star still got it. As a father, and just as a father of female children, it, it, it makes you like realize the danger that women are in it. I think this movie shows a, a lot a lot of good ways to fight back, you know, and just protect them. Yeah, it does. It's very um, informative. And we, unfortunately, we hear all too often women are abducted and disappear, never to be found. And this movie gives you an insight into what that experience might be like. And it's frightening. And I know I will never walk through a parking garage alone, mm. ever. Like, I will be even more mindful of where I go, what I do. I'll teach my daughter different things now through making this movie and having this experience. Like the littlest things, just go with someone could could change your circumstance with for you being abducted or not or not abducted. Right. You know, a guy's right. gonna go after one lone girl before he's gonna go after two. It's just you know, yeah. just do the math. So right. it's little things like that we can do to make ourselves safe. Right. And before I go, like the fans of, are asking me, are you gonna reprise your role as Storm <laughs> in X Men? Are you, are you gonna yeah. bring that rope, that character back? Oh. Yeah, I know. I'm excited too. The fans really love Storm, and so I'm really happy that it's worked out that way. Um, no matter what my part will be or won't be, I just to be a part of that is always a good thing. I, I love it. Thanks, Jamal. Halle Berry. She's still got it. And honestly, she's never really gonna lose it. I mean, look at this woman. That's all I'm saying. Up next, Jackie Robinson hits a home run. Jay-Z produces a mainstream mega hit. And we talked to Tyler Perry about making major box office history. It's all coming up in just a bit on Black Tree on TV, your number one source for urban entertainment. You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South.